Draymond Green has had to do a lot of apologizing this last couple months. It's no secret it's been a rough offseason for Green. After he was suspended in the NBA Finals, he lost in Game 7, was arrested last month following an altercation with a former Michigan State football player. Then yesterday, Draymond had to apologize again after posting a picture of his private region on social media. Shortly after removing the photo from his Snapchat account, Green tweeted, hacked, can't win right now. But the Warriors forward later told reporters he was lying. He meant to send the photo as a private message saying, I kind of hit the wrong button and it sucks. Green is currently with Team USA in Houston, practicing for the Olympics in Rio. Stephen A., is Draymond going to last next season with the Warriors? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. When Stephen A. Smith says, I don't know if a guy is going to last with the, a season with a team, my first question is always, is, are you just kind of thinking about it, or is this based on stuff you're hearing? No, I'm thinking about it because of the people that I know within that organization. Let me say this. Yep. <clears throat> it's very important that I, I, that, that I qualify my statements because I'm a huge fan of Draymond Green. The player and the person. I love the guy. And I think that the kind of energy that he brings to the basketball court, I'd want him on my team any day. Gotten to know him a little bit. I'm very, very fond of the Michigan State program because I love me some Tom Izzo, who I would want, if I had a son, I would want him playing for Tom Izzo. That's how I feel about that man. Here's my thing about Draymond, and I hope he's watching this because forget you know, the snafu, that's his personal business. Whatever mistake he made, that's fine. And I ain't getting into all of that, okay? I work for Walt Disney. I'm just not going there. What I will say is this. Draymond Green is being praised by a lot of people because of what he does on the court. My brother, do not think for one second that they won't turn against you in a flash. He needs to understand this. The Golden State Warriors have Kevin Durant now. Now, obviously, Draymond has the kind of requisite skills that complement both Steph, Clay, and Kevin Durant being on the same team. But it also diminishes the need for him if he becomes too problematic. Now, I don't believe that this is something that would happen, but let me tell you something. As somebody who's gotten to know the Warriors organization, whether it's Joe Lacob, whether it's Bob Myers, uh, to a lesser degree, Steve Kerr. I think a lot of people misconstrue. My thinking Mark Jackson should have never been fired, which is something the Warriors know that I have always felt takes nothing away from the great organization that they are, the great coach that Steve Kerr has proven to be, even though he didn't have a great game seven. And by the way, Steve Kerr is a fantastic guy. He's a good man. So I don't want this to be misconstrued. But what I'm saying is Bob Myers is also a good guy. And Joe Lacob is about winning. And he's about winning and being positive while doing it. And he absolutely loves Draymond Green. But Draymond Green speeding down the highway at 118 miles an hour and, and Snapchatting it at the same time, even though his mama was right when his mama came out publicly and said, don't act like we've never tested how fast our car could go from time to time. There are people that have foolishly done that. He's not the only one. But no one's so, sitting here, of course. Well, of course not. Of course not. Never not that, never, that, never that. Never that. But the point is, is that not only that, but then you got to remember the situation after the finals and you got into a beef and got arrested, yep. you know, because of the beef in the nightclub. OK, and then now this, these are not things that have made the Golden State Warriors the brand that they have become. And I'm not saying this to chastise Draymond Green. I got nothing but love for the brother. I'm saying this to warn him, and it's not to cast aspersions on the Golden State Warriors organization. I'm saying any organization, any brand, they can hug you, they can kiss you, they can sing kumbaya to you, they can throw parties for you, they can do all of this stuff. At the end of the day, any organization that believes you are compromising their money and their bottom line because of image issues ultimately will turn on you if you're not careful. And that is the message that I want to send to Draymond Green. He's got to stop making the news for these reasons, which is why I said I don't know. Because the personnel that the Golden State Warriors have in place, Max, 
if Draymond Green finds himself continuously getting bad press, if there is one team that can actually afford to lose him right now, it's Golden State. I sincerely doubt they'll do it, but they could afford to. He needs to be careful. I don't think they can afford to, and I think that's why he's okay. Now, by the way, not only just the off-the-court off the stuff, but sometimes a guy is so high energy all the time, that can even wear thin in the locker room, even if he is the emotional center and the, the kind of spiritual leader of the team. If that dude is on all the time, that can wear thin over time, I think. Um, well, you're right, because remember, during the halftime of the o go oh, yeah. o this, uh, OKC Warriors game, he, you know, cussed out Steve Kerr. Yep. I'm here to tell you that Draymond actually got a bad rap for that because... You know, considering how he's the workman, you don't go into the locker room and isolate him and call him out, which is how he took it, which is why he blew up. So I don't condemn him for that, but it was still bad press for Draymond. Draymond was almost the finals MVP. Let's not forget. He was almost, if, if one of the greatest players who ever lived, probably the greatest player since Michael Jordan at his best, didn't go ham in game seven, Draymond, they win that game. 32, 15, and 9. going to be finals MVP. I mean, but he's the, he's the crazy guy on the team. A lot of teams have that one crazy guy, right, where it's like a Dennis Rodman on the, on the Jordan Bulls team, that, the second three-peat, where it's like, can this guy hold it together when we need him to hold it together? Vontez Perfect, that was the question with Cincinnati and, and Pittsburgh, and it was like, actually, with Perfect, the answer was no at the end of the day. He couldn't. Literally, at the end of the game, he couldn't. Um, Draymond, I'm st I think the jury's still out there because on the one hand, he did get suspended a game. They did lose that game. On the other hand, the way that series played out, I don't think that would have made a difference. I don't think LeBron was going to let these guys, those guys lose. And, and, and Draymond didn't do anything else where, well, he did actually, but he didn't wind up missing any more time. So he is really walking that fine line for that crazy guy who you hope can can keep it together but this is why i really think he's okay i don't think he's in jeopardy and i think even with kevin durant on the team they really need him strategically he's what makes them different uh every he has revolutionized the big man position and you could call it a four you could call it a five point forward point center whatever it is man shoots 49 percent from the field and 38 percent from three from three range. now you can say that's because and i think correctly that steph curry is not all three pointers are equal are created equal steph is shooting from so far away that that's actually the, in the spread pick and roll that's that's really creating more space than there's ever been created Correct. and so it makes draymond go from a 33 percent shooter to a 38 percent shooter which is all the difference in the world in the modern nba but draymond can shoot the three he can swarm in the paint. He can uh, rebound. He can make great decisions with the ball as a kind of a point forward. He can put the ball on the floor. He's so well-rounded that, in fact, when other GMs are looking at the Warriors, strategically speaking, one of the players you must take into account, uh, even with Steph and Durant on this team, really the question is, what are we going to do about Draymond? How do we match up with that? Or how do we get a guy like that, like Carl Anthony? Towns right now has supplanted for many Anthony Davis as the big you want because he came into the league shooting the three very well. They made him do it in college. And now it's like a, he's kind of Draymond Green, but bigger and better and more talented. Like that's one of the re Draymond's existence is one of the reasons a guy like Carl Anthony Towns exists with the game he has and the reason it's so coveted. And besides the fact that he's Steph's real pick and roll partner. I mean, I think strategically, Draymond has such importance to this team that even with Durant there, he, his, his importance cannot be uh, undermined. Well, well uh, you see, that's all fine and good and excellent basketball analysis. But that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is a Golden State Warriors team that's scheduled to move into a new arena in a couple of years in San Francisco. We're talking about a Golden State Warriors team that has the golden boy, the reigning two-time league MVP, who, can it get any nicer than him? I mean, one of the true, true gentlemen this sport has ever seen. We're talking about a backcourt that's considered the greatest shooting backcourt in the business. We're talking about an owner in Joe Lacob who is elite absolutely believes his organization is elite and literally considers themselves the new standard bearers. And so when you look at it from that perspective, again, I'm not saying this is something that they're entertaining at the moment or anything like that. I'm simply giving Draymond Green a heads Warning. up because 
I got that much love for the brother. I want him to know. I don't care how much they hug you and smile at you and tell you something. Don't push the envelope if you want to stay in Oakland, because if you keep being in the news for the wrong reasons, they will turn on you in a heartbeat. There's a slew, there's a history of players who are, was shell-shocked that an organization that loved them dearly and valued them decided to say goodbye. Be careful. La last point on that. I still think he's okay, even having said that, unless the Warriors are actually a loser organization who cares so much about their brand image that they will sacrifice championships. Durant and I love Kevin Durant. In Game 7 against uh, uh, the Warriors, he came up small. In Game 7 against Cleveland, Steph Curry looked like he didn't want it. I know he was probably compromised. Klay Thompson went cold. Do you know who went bananas? Draymond Green with the chips on the line when it seemed like no one else right. wanted it. In Game 7 of the Finals, mm -hmm. Draymond showed up big. We can reach and, an and that dude is a championship player. We, we can reach an accord. You're probably right in terms of, based off of what you said, Maybe we don't move them now. But next summer, if you keep yep. getting yeah, don't, slip, Draymond, <laughs> yeah. don't slip, Draymond. Don't slip. Don't slip. You better I, keep playing. You're saying that. I'm just saying, I'm just you're looking, looking out, out for him and saying, don't slip. Don't let it come Don't slip. Your production Stop your money, this. Your yeah. team's money. And I'm quite oh, sure he, that Tom Izzo will tell him the same you thing. You better keep getting those triple doubles on a winning team. 